Hello and welcome back and today I want to talk about another kind of IP camera for the home but compared with a number of the different cameras that I've talked about on this channel over the last year or two this one is very very different this is the iMu Cell Pro now this is a different kind of camera for a number of reasons first and foremost let's get it straight off the bat this device is not NAS compatible. I do know a number of the cameras that I talk about on this channel, let's be honest, Rio Link is one of the cameras I talk about the most, are largely NAS compatible. But more and more I'm learning that you guys aren't always looking for a NAS compatible camera because you're looking for a surveillance solution that you can buy for one, two, three hundred NECA all together in the home and not have to buy anything else. And in that kind of budget, a whole NAS will take up a large portion of that. So moving away from NAS, a number of you want to look at network or internet-based camera solutions surveillance for your home uh, that do not require a NAS. And right now, this is one that's growing in popularity because it meets somewhere between the home user and a professional business user, or prosumer is that word that gets thrown, thrown around by people like myself online. Now, the reason I want to talk about this is twofold. First and foremost, obviously, they've sent me a sample, which is always a good reason to talk about a prob uh, product here on camera and tell you what it can and can't do. But moreover, the, one of the other reasons I want to talk about it a great deal is because this device has a very very unique setup that if you need this kind of setup it is almost unparalleled and unheard of in the way that it is built this device is designed around the idea of a base hub this little box here and we will do the unboxing in a bit is designed to be the hub point that connects to your um your internet access point your your router your switch or whatever and from there there are individual pods and what it creates is a completely separate surveillance network within your home or uh, business environment but with all of those cameras communicating with the hub and then the hub communicates with your home or network environment it has dedicated apps and has a whole host of hardware advantages that aren't out there but first and foremost let's address the elephant in the room the price it is not a cheap device this device arrives at around 230 quid just looking at my notes off camera and again, that is for the single base model with one pod, with the additional pods being purchasable one by one. There's also a two pod version, but we're looking at this one today because it's pretty much the entry level point for this device. Now, it's a 1080p camera. Do you know what? We might be easier to just bring my notes straight here because there are lots of uh, details about this device that you're going to want to know. Um, and first and foremost, it is a 1080p uh, Wi-Fi camera. The camera itself is completely wireless and weatherproof. Um, so we've got lots going on with it there. Now, it has a multitude of different options open to it, but one of the most interesting factors about it is to do with that power the fact that it is battery chargeable uh, it's got a rear battery pack that can be charged and it can run for ages apparently on a single charge it can run six months obviously this will be based on the frames per second you choose the quality you choose and the tailored alerts that you go for but on its base settings it can run on a full charge for six months without being plugged in it is completely wireless in design and will run without that. That's a huge deal for people that don't want to have to keep running outside, putting the cameras on charge or bugging in new batteries and effectively creating blind spots in their timed coverage. And that's something this device helps you completely avoid. Um, the no wide installation means that you aren't going to have to worry about running cat cables or power cables or running external power outlets in your garden or external to your premises this device completely avoids all of that uh, on top of that are, that weatherproof rain is ip65 which is always reassuring as well uh, which means that it's going to be um dustproof and waterproof to a high degree and on top of that it's got a dual uh, a dual detection camera build which means it uh, eliminates a lot of false alerts which can be a real problem with people going into more business um, level cameras overall when that happens generally you are talking about insurance you're talking about security on a manned level and therefore having that additional layer uh, in the pir camera and the uh, the infrared lighting i should say 
is going to be hugely beneficial to you. On top of that, two-way audio in and out, which means that you can record the audio coming in, but also you can project audio from the application. And again, the applications are available on a multitude of platforms, of course, iOS and Android, and indeed Windows PC as well. And that last one is surprisingly rare, given there are a lot of cameras these days that only use nice cost-effective mobile apps. It's good to have the choice between them. Now, the camera itself has got enhanced IR lighting, thanks to the front of it there, with different infrared sensors, and has quite a good throw weight, uh, throw weight of uh, detection via uh, the night vision and those infrared lights. Hopefully that's on the screen, uh, the amount of distance there. But talking of distance, because of the hub and unit relationship, it has an enormous area of coverage between the base station and the cameras. It's just a huge throw of field that normal cameras will just not have. Now, the specification said 100 meters, which to me seemed ludicrously far, but I'm going to double check that. And if there is a correction, you'll see it up here at the top. We will be doing a software overview of this camera in a follow up video, too. And on top of that, the device's storage system is quite interesting, too. It utilizes standard, you know, SD card at the back then. It can support, you know, the standard sort of sizes you'd expect. But it also has an external USB port, which means you can attach up to two terabytes of external storage via USB to this device to directly record onto. And remember, the external drive will connect to the base station, not the camera. The camera's up here doing its thing. So you can have the camera there with no storage inside, sending to the base station, which is connected to an external drive. And again, it's that base station approach that I think will appeal to a lot of people that want the central storage of a NAS without having to buy a whole NAS to get this set up. This device here effectively replaces the NAS in a NAS MVR solution with this having the SD card slot, a USB slot, or even utilizing cloud spaces with um, IMU uh, uh, providing uh, a cloud space as well. You have to pay for it monthly, but there is a first month free trial to test that out as well. And the codec that it utilizes is H.265, not H.264 like a lot of cameras, which means it's a lot more streamlined and the size of those files will be a great deal smaller thanks to that compression technique. But I've been rabbiting now for the best part of six minutes. Let's take a look at the damn thing. I'm also going to heighten the light on this camera because we are getting just a little bit too much darkness there. Let's bring that down. And let's take a look at this camera. Nice, interesting external box there. Very colourful. Good use of orange. And again, on the, si on the side there, there's lots of information about everything I've already told you. I can bring that there to the front. But I pretty much told you everything you need. And more information on that application that we're going to be utilising in our software overview. If that light wasn't absolutely ruining it. So, open it up there. And again, I have opened this up uh, in advance because I need to check about whether it had a power cable inside, but don't worry, I've not done much more than that. There's lots of information there about installing your cameras for the first time, setting up for the first time, and setting up the app for the first time as well. Open that up. We have the unit itself. We can have a look at that in just a second. And that's the base station for the camera. We'll open that up. Got the box over there. And we'll get the accessories box open. Inside, we have a cat cable. We only need the one. There's only a single port there on the base station. Remember, the cameras do not have an input like that. They are designed to be purely uh, wire-free. We have an external power connector. And again, it is normally tied up. I have already opened it prior to this recording. We have information with regard and a sticker with regards to mounting brackets for wall mounting the camera in your home or office environment along with raw plugs and obviously screws to get this mounted in your home or business environment and of course we have the camera itself which i've already removed from the packaging and installed the battery now the battery inside is we'll get that open there it's a very interesting design there get that out and it is a block battery inside. This battery here will be installed inside that camera and keeps things moving. And that's the dock there that the battery goes in. And again, we can shut that up there. Pop the base on and we'll put that battery back in, obviously, when we do our recording of the software overview. 
But the camera itself is surprisingly discreet. I mean, again, it's like a combination between a standard um, wall-mounted bullet camera but a far more compact, almost like um, a kind of top mount camera like those. Now, it doesn't feature pan, tilt, zoom. There is no control of that bracket. The bracket on the rear there is just used for mounting it correctly. And of course, if you loosen it, it comes down like that, but you can tighten it accordingly to make sure it goes nowhere. Now, the front of the camera has got that dual camera design that we talked about with the LEDs and identification and with a power indicator LED at the top. And if you can just make it out on camera, if I get the light just right, you can see the audio in and audio out there along, sorry, the audio in on either of those and a light sensor, along with at the top, that speaker for projecting audio alert at the top. Now, if we look at the bottom of this device, we can see the charger port there, which is a standard USB charger built into the base. And there's a sync button there on the rear. And again, fantastically easy to set this up. Don't get me wrong. It's not going to have a lot of the advantages that a NAS has. For what you're getting as a camera, it isn't the cheapest device. Let's be honest, it's quite an expensive camera and does require you to have that base station in place. But that said, this is probably one of the most robust cameras I've ever had here on the channel. It's quite heavy going. Um, the, it seems like a very good quality device, I would say, in terms of build quality. We will reserve any full judgment until after we've seen that software, because we are buying something that I think would be deemed a far more professional-grade product. But um, in terms of physicality of the camera, it does seem like a pretty nifty-looking device. And again, when we do the software overview, I'm going to be interested to see just how far the PIR detection is in terms of daylight, not just during the night. Now... The base station, if we get that up here, the base station kind of looks like the um, difference between maybe a, a filter, a home filter, or um, even a lower end router. Um, the, the device itself has got an audio port here on the rear to collect sound and output that sound for you as well. On top of that, on the rear of the device, we can see a power connector. We can see that USB port, it's USB 2, that allows us to connect that 2TB drive, along with a single LAN port there on the rear. So remember, this LAN port is designed to connect this device to your router or switch, and the cameras are connected wirelessly. And once again, um, a lot of the description said that this supports up to 100 meters. I am going to test that in a better, and probably not 100 meters, but I'll get as close as I can. And moreover, I am going to look into the idea of just how accurate that spec is. <coughs> now, and, uh, the last point I want to highlight with this is just that issue of cost. Because once again, this is not a cheap device. At the time of recording, this device is around 230 quid for the base station and one camera which seems like a lot for a home user but if you were going to look about going down that road of buying a nas based a surveillance solution and you were only going to use it for surveillance then it's a completely different story because this is a great 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 deal more cost effective than that solution once you get an external drive or an sd card on top of that remember that six month battery so it has a lot going for it in who it's targeted as i said at the top of the video this has a very specific kind of user in mind it's not designed for the more budget conscious that will look at an anke or a rio link camera this is for people that are looking at something a lot more robust and a lot more hard going in terms of setting up and it being a reliable rigid solution it doesn't require much interacting interaction but still get all the alerts and security that you want now this has just been about the hardware and i do recommend you check out the software video when it's live because that will tell you more about this device in practice but for me in terms of hardware it's probably one of the best cameras i've had my hands on here on the channel and i'm looking forward to seeing if the software can live up to what the hardware seems to promise but i will see you on that next video do stay tuned for more videos on surveillance cameras because i'll be covering a lot of these bad boys in the coming weeks as we're entering that period when people get real surveillance crazy but i will see you on the next video click like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and want to learn more and click the bell to be more notified about future videos on this subject and everything network based cheerio